Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber 10 minutes at a time Alright people, we're taking a break. Me and Sammy's having a cup of coffee oh, I'll show you what I did Been trucking away on Oh yeah, I had this freight train rolling yesterday people it was rolling all day. I'm going to sit down and have me a cup of coffee with Sammy. Just... <clears throat> yeah, Sammy loves her coffee just like you do, people. She loves me until I give, <laughs> give her some. Uh, <laughs> but Mainly yesterday... I was tied up with that rudder most of the day. Got it figured out, I think. <laughs> Mostly. We'll go over with that in a minute. And, uh, got my canards made. These are my little canards, my little baby canards. They seem awful small for this, but, uh, we blew them up. We scaled them and my little baby canards, they're just solid balsa. I sliced them, put some 64th plywood in my slice, sanded it back to a razor edge. It looked pretty good. I got them glass last night. Whoop, excuse me. Got them glass last night before I went to bed. And uh, I'm going to put a cut of primer on them before I glue them on. I want them semi smooth. I'm just going to glue them on. No, they won't be functional, people. They don't need to be. And got them done. So today is the stop building day. I told myself a couple days ago to, to make all this work and get it painted. I've got to just allow a couple days to get anything I needed built, built. Put it on a priority. Rudder canards. You know, and... Uh, and anything else I can squeeze in right at a time. Got my rudder canards done. Today and tomorrow is filling day. I'm going to get all my filling done uh, on the fuselage and, and uh, stabs today. I ain't got a whole lot on my fuselage. You know, little bits here and there. Tomorrow is wings and the cells. I'm going to get them all filled. That'll be Thursday. And that leaves me a day to get my priming, wet sanding done. So I can shoot it in a day. I'm not so worried about that. So even if it's Saturday before I shoot it, I will get it painted. Uh, I got my uh, gear doors all done. I got them cut out, but uh, I don't have no time. I'm out of my building. I'm out of my building time, so uh, it ain't going to have the your doors <laughs> nothing and I go ahead and time to plumb them and all that put their cylinders on them so uh, they'll just be hanging down in the way anyway so I ain't going to be able to get my gear doors on it but it ain't the end of the world I'm going to have my stabs both my stabs my rudder my wings it's going to be painted sitting on gear and it's going to look pretty good you know bomb bays will be hanging open but uh it's alright, we'll get there. We'll get there, people. I'll get back and die, so I'll take me a little break. Get away from it for a while. I don't think you guys realize how hard I've been hitting this here lately. Been some long old days. Back's hanging tough with the old leaves. Well, let me show you this rudder I got going. Oh man, my way blew it. Okay. I got it hinged, okay, and I, part of this actually glues onto the fuselage and, you know, part of it's the rudder, same way on the bottom for the elevator clearance. And I got to thinking, how am I going to get this lined up perfectly with the rudder, you know, the part that stays on the fuse, I wanted that perfect alignment. So this is what I came up with, and people had to get my deal in there to make it work. I'll show you what I used. And some of these around the shop for quite a while. Now my buddy made them for me. I needed some and he just made me a bunch. 
this here pin then it's got a threaded piece down here well this goes into the rudder I had to bend that actually and I got a bunch of wood inside there and so this sticks down in here I'm gonna make a door right here that's where I'm gonna put my servo this one I don't know how I'm gonna get it in there with the hinges with this on there you know I don't I ain't got that one quite figured out yet. This one here. So when I cut this off and them hinges, I just, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. See this one here, what I did is uh, this rudder, the, the vertical stab is not glued on. Okay, I'm gonna cut that. Then I could take my whole video, vertical stab off and I can put me plywood on both of these pieces and then when I put it back together glue her on uh, I think that's what I came up with on that issue and uh, I couldn't concave you know I couldn't cut out and then run this in there you know with the rounded edge so I had to glue a piece of plywood on there and glass it not that big a deal and as far as these pieces go, I got them cut out. Okay, didn't quite take my primer far enough on that one. That's not that big. I got that lug cut off. Remember that big old lug that was there? I'm going to fill that. Then I'm going to paint these pieces and just uh, double face tape them on for now. I ain't got time to hinge them, but do with none of that. So I'm just going to double face tape them on. I got these doors cut out, I got this one to lip on, I'm going to do that one. A little bit left, I'm going to stay focused on my fuselage and stabs today. Alright, because I ain't got a whole lot to do to my set stabs. I just got to fill that front seam, sand them, fill this seam, and get them looking good. Get them ready for some primer. But that's what I got going. As far as this thing here goes, I'm thinking what I might do is see it's so fat down here. I could actually cut this out and hook me up a ball link that you better be able to see on the outside. Run a shaft on the inside and put a servo up in here. Or, you know, for it to work that back. Because I ain't going to be able to get work that inside there once it's installed, you know and pin in my hinges <laughs> it just ain't going to work and I'll show you a little trick I used on these hinges you know them with some big old radiuses man and this actually stuck way inside my rudder you know and there was only a little bit sticking out and when you do that you end up with a lot of slop so I took these carbon tubes okay install them in there first and then you glue that carbon to so take your dremel and cut little slices in it then you install that carbon tube well that'll let you allow allows you to use these robot hinges when uh, you got a lot of area exposed you know what I mean because these I'll have to show you when I could take that off because these actually go inside that radius so right there has got to be like right here you know your hinge point to make them work right you got to countersink them into your wood and uh, that's where I'm going to cut them out see can you see them lines butts you see them lines on there I think that looks about right from what I can tell but we're running out of time here folks I'll try and get you another movie or two in today but I'm busy, busy man. I'm uh, working in the shop, baby. Hey, and uh, I'm fixing to get out another round of t-shirts, too. Uh, Deb's taking care of that for me. She's got to be at her aunt's today. And she's going to come home and take care of that. So we're going to get out another round of t-shirts for everybody that's been waiting patiently. And I'm going to take some t-shirts with me to Dias. I've still got plenty. Anyone wants to get in on this next round of t-shirts, let me know today.